Hi everyone, this is Heather Smith with Storyville Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to create an abstract valentine. And as a side note guys, you can use this for so much more than just a valentine. You can also use it for like an invitation for a save the date, a baby shower, or birthday party. You can add it as like an add-on bonus to a client session, whatever you want. It's just so much fun and so versatile. Um, so this is what it looks like, at least one of the options you can play around and really make it your own. This is where I started and this is where I finished. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this group so we can start from scratch here. And before you run the action, which is the first thing that you do, make sure that your mode is in the 8-bit channel or this action won't run. Okay, so image mode 8-bit channel. And then come over and make sure that your group is open for the action. The line right under it is selected and you hit play. And then I have some walkthrough instructions on there as well. So if you're satisfied with how it first comes out, this is the before and after, go ahead and leave it. And if not, go ahead and go to layer, flatten image, and then you can run it again. You can run it as many times as you want to really get the look that you're going for. Um, you could also lower the opacity if you want a little bit of them peeking through. Um, it's really up to you. So then the next thing I'm going to do is come onto my background layer and hit Command J to make a new copy. And I'm actually going to drag this on top of the abstract art layer, add a layer mask, Command I to invert it. And by doing this, we are going to be able to use our soft white brush. I am going to click come down here into the Valentine brushes and select the single heart. Make sure that your mask, your black layer mask is selected and it's a white brush. And then you can size it however you'd like using the bracket keys um, to increase or decrease the size. And then at 100% opacity, go ahead and just click on that. Now if you flattened your image and you ran it the action again, you're not going to be able to just copy the background layer. You're just going to go ahead and open the image again and drag and drop it on top. Because um, at that point the background layer is also going to be abstract. Now as you can see the heart isn't super noticeable here, but I have these three other layers that are really cool too. And I have them turned off right now, but I'm going to actually turn on the darken. And as you can see, that darkened the whole image. But if I just want the abstract layer darkened, I'm going to pull this um, background layer, copy up, and boom. How great is that? They really pop there. Um, you can also play with the opacity to make it just a little bit darkened, however you like it. And you can also do this. I'm just going to show you an example with them all turned on with the black and white. If you wanted them to be in color still, you could keep that up top. If you want it all black and white, you know, you can just move things around. And same with the brighten up, um, you get the idea. But right now, I just want the darken on, and I want it under this background copy so that they're a little bit brighter. Okay, so now for some of the fun, I'm going to go ahead and pull up some of the overlays. If I can find where I'm, here it is. Okay, and you have 20 different overlay selections. Um, I have an example under where the product is over on the story website of all of them, so you can take a peek at them before you purchase. And you can just drag and drop them. You can set this to screen mode is what I prefer to do. And then I'm going to drag this on top. So boom, and that didn't switch to screen mode. Normal is kind of cool too if you want none of the background showing or screen mode like that. And then you can also Command T to adjust the sizing or how big or how small you want the bokeh. I am going to have it kind of large here because I like it, I like how that looks. And I'm going to drag and drop a few more just so that you can get um, some more ideas of a few of these. So let's just go to the bottom here, drag and drop. Some fun rainbow bokeh screen. And to get rid of this, um, uh, either hit the, <laughs> the check mark or you can just click off to the side. And you can keep them both on, you can stack, whatever you want. Let's go for one more. Let's see, we'll go 18. Screen. And then you can, again, size these up 
or shrink them down however you'd like. That looks good to me. Turn on multiple things. Oh, let's just go for one more. I'm having so much fun over here. Okay, what do we got here? Some kisses, screen. Okay. So fun. And I also wanted to show you, say you want some of the bokeh on top of the picture, just drag it there. You can leave it as is, or you can add a layer mask and use a soft black brush at 100% opacity or whatever opacity you'd like, and you can just kind of mask off where you don't want it. But I like it under, so that is where I'm going to leave it. And you can also flip these around. Say you want this at the bottom. You can just go to Command T. And then I like to just go to the height. And you can do side to side too. And just add a minus in front of there and it will flip it. So now it's at the bottom. And if you wanted to have bottom and top, just hit Command J. Do that again. And then go ahead and erase that. Um, minus sign right there. Oh. And then you can move it around. And then I'm going to add the big bokeh. Just so much fun. Oh, one more thing I want to go over. Some of our brushes. So I'm going to hit a new layer. I'm going to come over here. And we have a few different options for you. I'm going to go with the scattered hearts here. And then I like to kind of sample by using the option key. Make sure your brush is selected. And you can kind of pick a color that's already in the image. And, you know, click around. You can size them using the bracket keys. You can make them huge, small. Um, and again, you can drag it on top and then mask off or keep it under. I'm going to keep it under here. Let's do one more. Let's go for the scattered kisses. Gonna just expand this and boom. Got some kisses, you can make them smaller. Don't quite like that. And you can also sample different colors if you wanna like do a few different options, um, whatever you like. Possibilities are endless. I'm gonna turn that off. And that looks good to me. Maybe there too. And then print it out, make a handwritten note on the back or on the front, whatever you'd like to do, and you can really put that personalized touch to these. Anyway, you can find this at www.storyvillephotography.com. Have a great day. Bye, guys.